eventful week here at the 66th Annual Film Festival in Cannes. Leonardo DiCaprio, Nicole Kidman, Justin Timberlake, all here. But it's not just celebrities, thousands have flocked to the beautiful French Riviera this week to see what's new in the film industry. Welcome to Cannes. Jury President Steven Spielberg just announced that the French film Blue is the Warmest Color won the prestigious Palme d'Or this year. And beyond the competition, Cannes is home to the world's busiest film market. Inside, we meet Abdul Zainidi, a filmmaker from the Southeast Asian country of Brunei. My short films are very surreal, quirky, absurd, um, comic. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting some clients who come up to us and say, listen, we, wanna, we want you to shoot this idea we have. Let's have some surreal elements to it, you know, make it more Tim Burton-esque. And that's what realism is about, is promoting Brunei through a surrealistic lens. Michelle Massari, a filmmaker from the Republic of San Marino, is at Cannes for the first time. Uh, I'm a first-time filmmaker and uh, I have the job. <laughs> I'm a software programmer in a real life, but uh, I want to be a director. Yeah. Oliver Dong, also a first-time attendee, is here to promote Redemption, a film from China. It's quite different. It's quite different between the Chinese market and the U.S. market. Of the, the difference between uh, from the, the culture and the behavior pattern. Zainidi, Masari, and the Redemption team are all highly motivated by national pride. I'm here to promote my country because we are a little, little country, and uh, this is the first time that our country produces some uh, movies. Overall, my objective is to just make people know where Brunei is. I'm sure a lot of people have not heard of Brunei and now that because, oh, what's this, Taluki from Brunei? You know, it's, it gives them incentive to watch the film in itself. We want Chinese Navy beyond the border, I mean beyond China region. It, it warmed my heart, I think, when, when they were all saying, oh, we're very proud that you, we're happy that you brought our little small province out there. And I, that in itself is rewarding, you know? But among the thousands at the festival, how do these filmmakers and film distributors stand out? That's the billion dollar question. You just, you just have to figure out how to have something of interest. There is a war <laughs> between filmmakers. Everybody tries to make some space, uh, chat with people, come to see my movie, come to see my movie. Americans are the best to do this. <laughs> they came with 10 people, big poster, come, come, come. <laughs> And when the film market closes for the day, the night is young. There's one more thing about Cannes that I have to talk about, is the parties. Uh, you know, there are obviously uh, soirees and parties that you go to in Cannes where you network. And networking is a very, very important thing in Cannes. Those parties are also very good because some of the, sometimes the big honchos are found in the parties. Sometimes it's very rare that you get a very big executive uh, producer or Harvey Weinstein walking around here. He's always at the parties. Day and night, the festival is a place where filmmakers, producers, and directors from around the world collide. I started actually five years ago, I think, like in a show before that. And then, yeah, I'm here now. So I come here every year. I love it. If anyone ever gets a chance from whichever country to send a film to the short film corner, I think you should. You should. This really has buyers from all over the world. Some markets are just like a specific country or continent. This system is one of the biggest markets and film festivals in, in the world. We've never been here. Everything's new. <laughs> Yeah, we, 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 we knew it by newspapers, by media, so, you know, everyone knows it from the internet, from, uh, from media, but being uh, physically here, you know, it's, it's still different. <laughs> there are many interesting people. Producers are here, directors are here, actors are here from all the place. It's just, if you really, if you want, if you're serious about making films, you should be in For rising filmmakers, the festival is a networking mecca. 
an opportunity to mingle with the best in the business and share their films with a global audience. This is Jen Kramer for YTV. Bye bye, Yale. <laughs>